hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we have discussed all about how we can update the record in this video I'm gonna teach with you how you can update and also display the message on the edit no view.php page and how you can delete the record right so first thing I'm gonna create a function set session message this is a session message function this function will help you to display the message with another page this is a basically operation.php page and we are working on edit.php page right this page but I want to display the message on view.php page so we need to work on session message so first we need to start the session go to above and write the session underscore start parenthesis terminator sign this is a session message once you start the session then you need to make a function write the function name set message write the variable you can set that parameter and set message do you want to change the name you can do that right write the if statement not empty message then come into the if body and create a session and write the session name and assign the message parameter value inside the session variable otherwise come into the else body and call msg variable which available inside the function parameter like this one and assign the value null right? this is our session message this message will help you to set the message but we need to work on another message display session message we need to use same thing public function write the function name parenthesis bracket inside that you need to write if set null underscore session with session message session is active then come into the if body and write the echo statement called session and write the session name right and also you need to write unset session that's it this this function will help you to set the message and this function will help you to display the message right but we need to work on another way to display the session message on view.php page so we have made the function with the help of uh, I mean update dot, uh, update function so I will use another way to update the record I use function 2 right I'm gonna call public function update record and we need to pass five parameter right ID first name this is a variables Basically, those are variables first name First, I'm gonna use last user and email. Those are parameters, right? I'm gonna use this liberated. Inside that, we need to use same thing global db, and we just need to copy this one, cut this one, and paste it, right? But we need to change the parameters, right? This is a function way to update the record last last right user user email and email right and this is a id variable you need to paste in here that's it then i'm gonna use if a result variable is active then come into the if body and call return true otherwise return else written false false right 
so we need to use also another statement inside before the dollar underscore post we call db just a minute db create what is function name uh, there is a function deep dot config check we need to uh, use this one function this one function will help you to secure your input text field right so check right same thing on the so I copy this one this one paste here right and also paste here and also paste on here then you need to write if done because this and call the update record function this one function and pass those parameters so first id id second one is the first name and last name username and finally is email right and come into the if body otherwise come into the else body and the if body I call this set message function session message function this one inside that we need to pass the parameters so i use single quotation there till close and write class and use this one sign uh, alert alert success right and so that i'm going to use your record is being updated Right. In this statement, I'm gonna use same thing. Copy, paste. No, it is something wrong. But we need to also use here location u dot php page, right? Now the final step you need to copy the display message function go to view.php page and after the I think after this and here I'm gonna use called body function right but inside this function we need to also start the session I use uh, where is the db.config file I use db.config this file is uh, available inside session start right basically I have assigned the session start inside db.config file db.config file available inside the each page right I'm gonna show it to you as you can see and this is a edit.php this is a db config.php and this is a also index.php so i need to check that it's working or not hmm. to use um, view.php page uh, call undefined function display message Okay, I use object this one here, right I think it should be work uh, session start 
operations line number three okay let me remove this one i have signed this one okay so first i'm gonna update third one i'm gonna use digital marketer digital marketer digital marketer digital.com did the record as you can see guys view.php record has been updated and those are record and I prefer this one and wait a couple of seconds to load the MySQL I interface as you can see guys digital marketer everything is perfect I want to update another record I can do that I'm gonna use blogger mm, affiliate marketer blogger blogger.com update God has been updated I'm gonna refer that then the message has been removed right now the last thing we need to work on and delete the record so first thing we need to go on view.php page and inside the view.php page we need to create a del.php page so copy that paste right this is a del.php page inside this page we just use simple statement no first we need to go on operations.php page and i'm going to create a function delete record public function delete record this is a function pass the parameter like id you want to change the name you can do that i use global db and queries delete implies from implies where id equal to this one id i think this is a query now the next thing we need to work on result db no must like query and pass the db connection now the next one is a query variable called return or result value right this is our function right but i use another way if result you then return true and the y return false right so we need to go on del.php write the basic syntax of php first thing you need to write require once db no config what is okay config and if dot config all right now the next thing you need to make object i'm going to call it db new operations dot this one this one class right and then we need to get the id get where you get the id you need to get the id from this one variable right and paste there call the function and delete record and pass the variable like id that will get the particular record right but i want to display the message also so i leave that and use if set the one is good get what is name the id is active then coming to the if body and paste here and also i'm going to use if this no i'm going to use this one is active then come into the if body otherwise come into the else body 
in the if body I just use download this no I use okay I use this set session message just a minute okay just a minute we need to use global db right make up this set message what is problem now where is operations set message this one function copy that go to del.php paste here there and same thing class alert alert success no alert danger your record is being deleted right otherwise come into the else statement copy that as the also I'm gonna use header location u.php page and also some I'm gonna use something wrong something wrong to delete the record I think everything is a kill here okay Okay guys I need to remove this one basically we need to use db basically the session message available inside the operation class so we need to use db I also use this one on here now the next thing you need to copy this one function no you need to go on u.php page and also copy the same function and test here okay and basically I have redirect the user to time on this page first one is uh, update the record now the next time you delete the record so I think everything is perfect yeah I'm gonna delete the last one record has been deleted I am able to see four records so let's check it now in the database right as you can see I want to delete the second one I refer that message has been removed so this is a complete application I have designed this application using a PHP group concept I hope you are understood as well if you have any question you can write the question on the comment section I will answer you with your question so please subscribe my channel for getting updates so thank you very much for watching have a nice day guys